good day. We're going to talk about a little part of a lesson in Captivate 9 from the Essentials class that we didn't get to, and that was Rollover Slidelets. This is on page 133 of your book. Uh, we're going to take a look at Rollover Slidelets. So I'm over on page 133. I've opened up the training file here, and let's take a look at this. One thing before we get started, what I want you to try to imagine in your head that you're watching a newscast and all of a sudden or when you're watching it there's a picture over to the side of the announcer or the news person. And this is called a picture in picture. And that's kind of what a slide lid is. You have your main slide which will have a timeline that controls the things that appear on there. And also you're going to put a little slide lid, it's called, on that slide that will also have its own timeline. So it's kind of a miniature Captivate slide playing on top of and in a Captivate slide that's already there. The most important thing is to remember they both have a separate timeline. Also the slide lid cannot have any interactive items such as buttons, click boxes or text entry. It's primarily for a picture in a picture. So here we go. I'm going to come over here in the book and it tells me to go to the little slide 10 and that's where I'm at. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you there's a caption that says the view menu gives you the ability to change the way items are displayed below. Go ahead and click the menu to see your options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it so they roll over the view menu. It's going to show me a slidelet that shows me this drop down menu. So here we go. I'm going to go over to the right of my slide and I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to come over here to roll over slidelet. And there's two parts to a rollover slidelet. There's the rollover slidelet uh, area and also the display area here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rollover slidelet area. This is my hot area. So I'm going to drag that up and I'm going to put it over the area where I want the learner to roll over and when they do they get something to show up in this other little screen here, this red screen here, this slidelet. So over on page 134 I'm going to set up some parameters for this. Because this little slide that has its own timeline, I want it so if they click inside of this slide lip, it will continue to play the timeline even if they move their mouse out of that area. So if they roll over the view area, it will play the timeline and when they roll out, I want it to continue to play. I don't want it to stop. So this on page 134 is called setting up the option to stick the slidelet. So with that picked, I'm going to go over here in properties and I'm going to come over and I'm going to pick in the properties inspector. I'm going to go to actions. There's a little checkbox over here called stick slidelet. And that means if they click on that slidelet, it's going to stay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to change the size and the position of the little slide itself. Now the book has these parameters all set up so I'm going to click on it once. I'm going to go over to my properties inspector and I'm going to put in some specific location XY and height and width sizes. So I'm over here on the transform area. I'm going to double click on X and they want me to put in 83. I'm going to come over here to Y. I'm going to put in 79. I'm going to come over here to width. I'm going to put in 112. And I'm going to come over here to height. I'm going to put in 282. Enter. What this is, this is the exact size screenshot that I'm going to display in this slidelet. So I'm actually going to display a screenshot inside of here. So again, let me review those numbers. X is 83. Y is going to be 79. The width is going to be 112. And I made a mistake because I didn't turn off constrained proportions here. So I knew something was up here. 112. 
and the height is going to continue to be uh, 282. So I'm going to put in this slide that I'm going to have it display a screenshot I made with Snagit of this actual menu. So here we go. So notice if I click back on the main slide and you look down here on the timeline, it shows me my slide lit text caption click box in my slide. If I click back on the slide lip, notice it says slide lip. So this is the timeline for that slide lip. It's important that I have that selected now because I'm going to insert an image inside of here. So I'm going to go up under my media panel here. I'm going to come down to image. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and find my training file. Then I'm going to go into my Captivate folder here. And I'm going to go into my Captivate 9 data folder. And I'm going to go down to Lesson 7. Actually, I'm just going to go into Images. And I'm going to go in here and I'm looking for a file here called View Menu JPEG. Now I got a little bit of a luxury at a Mac here because I'm going to click once and hit my space bar so I can check it ahead of time. Beautiful. Let me hide that. Let me click on that and I'm going to click open. So it's going to put that screenshot right in there and exactly fits because the slide that area was made to fit the parameters of that screenshot. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to preview this slide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview from this point and I'm also going to roll over my mouse so you can see the slide lit come up. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and do preview the next five slides and I'm going to see how this works. So this is going to play and then I should be able to, it says here, uh, go ahead and click the menu to see your options. Now notice the word click. I'm going to click on here and that makes it so when I click on here that's going to stay up. Now it's only going to stay up a certain amount of time on the, because of the timeline of the slide lip. Notice back here on the timeline for the slide lip back underneath preview it's only for three seconds. You know that's kind of captivates default timing. So let's pull that out a little bit here. Let's say six seconds and I go ahead and I'm going to do F10 or let's do preview the next five slides and we'll see how it works here. So again if I move my mouse over the view area because I put my hot area there it shows it to me and it's going to show up every time I go over it and it's going to last for 10 seconds. But if I roll over and then roll off it doesn't stick there, it doesn't stay there. So the instructions say go ahead and click but I'm not sure anybody's going to do that because they don't read. So we'll click here and now I can go off it. Now for 10 seconds it's going to stay up. If I don't want to see it anymore there is a close box right here. So this is a rollover slide lip. The key thing to remember here is this is a miniature Captivate slide timeline window that you can put video in, you can put captions in and pictures, you can set up the timing in that because it has its own independent timeline. So there's a little bit about a slide that we didn't get to in class. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email. Thank you.